I am just so tired this morning. It's pretty bad. But in other news, happy 23 months of intermittent alternate day fasting for me. That's cool. 23 months, almost two years, one more month to go. Kind of like what I said at the end of my last vlog. I plan on focusing this month on the new schedule and calorie counting and things like that that I've been doing the past week because I did lose seven pounds last week but I'm pretty sure that's because I uh, wasn't on that time of the month anymore and I lost seven pounds but I also felt extremely slim and I think a lot of that has to do with what I was eating and watching more what I was eating I guess it's a good feeling and I want to keep that I don't want to be so hard on myself and I know I say this every vlog but it sucks being that hard on yourself and last week I wasn't it was really nice so it's kind of what I'm going to do going forward on this month and just kind of continue what I was doing this last week and see where I weigh in at at the end of the month last time I weighed myself I believe was last Wednesday or Thursday can't remember um, and I was at 142 pounds then um, so I have gone up a little bit um, since the end of my you know first year of intermittent fasting but I know I've been lifting a lot more and um, things like that so I think that that definitely contributes to the weight gain but I'm not mad about it it's not like it's an unhealthy weight gain in other words and what if I went and talked to my doctor, uh, you know, she basically told me that I was at a healthy weight and stuff for my body, so that made me feel good, but still trying to lose a little bit of that, you know, leftover fat and stuff to make myself feel better more than anything, plus still lifting and stuff like that, you know, there's that as well. I'm fasting today, so the coffee and water in my system. I'm gonna try to run when I get home. I'm so tired today, but I should be running tonight. I think I'm going to just redo the last day that I did on my C25K again. And I might do that again on Wednesday since we're gonna be going out of town. It would just throw off my whole um, schedule. However, Wednesday, I might go ahead and finish out week five. So that way, whenever I come back um, next week, start next Monday, I can basically move on to week six for the C25K. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do on that yet. But anyway, I gotta put on some makeup and uh, fill up my water bottle. So I'll end this here and I'll talk to you guys later on this afternoon. What is up guys? I am off work and headed home right now where my mom and my uncle currently still are because her car is having some major issues since yesterday. So they've been at my house all day trying to figure out that whole situation really know what that means for me this evening if I'll be able to do my run tonight whenever I get home or I'll have to wait and do it later I am wanting to run at least at some point today before bed but right now it's just kind of playing things by ear to see you know like what's going on in my personal life because I gotta get this taken care of I gotta you know watch out for my family and stuff like that too of course I want to get in that exercise because the more exercise I get in the more calories I can eat but you know gotta think about other things too besides just that and um, so that's kind of what is happening right now I'm headed home um, gonna see what's going on with that I haven't eaten today which is good I had uh, Powerade which I've been drinking kind of more recently Powerade or Gatorade it really helps get me through my fasting days the zero calorie ones of course and I had my coffee this morning and water throughout the day per usual so don't plan on eating tonight of course um, hopefully I can stick to that and not do it. Um, I've been really busy all day so I haven't had really much of a chance to do much of anything but I was able to go on two walks today so that's nice. I was able to get in that, um, you know, exercise for the day. So, anywho, I am going to get off here so I can focus on what I need to do and I will talk to you guys later on this evening. I'll let you guys know if I do decide to run. It might be later like I said but I would like to get in that exercise at least at some point today. Well, I ended up running, which is good, and it wasn't too much further past the time that I normally run. Um, but I went back, and I originally was gonna do day one of the week five 
um, run, which was like five minutes running, three minutes walking, five minutes running, three minutes of walking, five minutes running. But, um, you know, I started on that one and once I got to the five minutes and it said start walking, I uh, went ahead and kept running. So I basically did the 858 run today, which, you know, I wasn't expecting to. And I almost thought to myself, I might be able to go the full 20 minutes, but I decided not to today. And I might try to do that on Wednesday, actually. Besides that, I came upstairs and hung out with my mom while we waited for her car to get fixed. And they finally got it taken care of, or so I hope. I'm still waiting to hear from her to make sure she got home. It's like 10 o'clock now. But yeah, she got it taken care of and everything. And I meal prepped while she was here. The bad thing was, I accidentally, not really much of an accident I guess. I threw together everything and I was really good up until I broke out the new granola that I got and I wanted to try it to see what it tasted like and it was really good. It's from Aldi. I can't remember the brand but I had a couple pieces of that more than what I was wanting which then of course made me want food and I tried to hold off. I ended up having one of my 170 calorie protein bars for dinner something to help tie me over so i've had about 330 calories today which of course you guys know i didn't want to eat today i never do i was doing so well and i was so proud of myself and then i had that but it doesn't matter you know because as i've told you guys on my last vlog i really a whole 330 calories isn't gonna do very much especially since i ran today and walked two miles and everything else that doesn't matter. Of course, I also say, and of course, you can eat up to 500 calories on your fasting days without it really mattering. So, you know, I just didn't technically go the whole 38 hours like what I was wanting, but that's okay. You know, life goes on and I um, still feel really small. I feel like I've lost more, which is great um, around my midsection and stuff like that. It's just it's a good positive feeling and good vibe and yeah, so that's good. But I'm going to uh, go to bed though because it's 10 and I need to do that thing. So I'll let you guys go and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday, it's Tuesday. One more day though until I'm on vacation and I'm super excited about it. Like I said, Ian and I are leaving tomorrow night after work. So I just gotta get through today, gotta get through tomorrow, and then we'll be on the road to Colorado and I'm so excited for it. Today's an eat day for breakfast. I made a protein cinnamon roll overnight thing. So I'm kind of anxious to try that. I got some new protein powder from Aldi, the Elevation brand. I've never tried it before. I brought some more wasa with peanut butter for a snack. For lunch I made um, basically shrimp with zucchini noodles, um, you know, a little filling, should be pretty filling. <laughs> um, and then I also brought an apple, some cottage cheese with honey and granola. And then tonight for dinner, I think I'm going to make instant pot mac and cheese because it'll be pretty quick and simple and it won't make a whole bunch of extras. So that way we won't have like food sitting in our fridge when we leave because I hate wasting food. And I feel like if it sits there, by the time I get back, it won't be good. So anyway. That's kind of what I have planned right now. Today I feel okay, not too bad about my body, but you know, we'll see how the rest of the day goes since I did eat a little bit last night, but that doesn't matter. Um, so it's all mental. I have to get over the mentality of all of this. I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get to work and I'll talk to you later on this afternoon. What's up guys? I'm on my way home trying not to fall asleep again like what I was doing a couple weeks ago because it gets so warm in my car and cozy and that rhythm, you know what I'm talking about, where you just want to like fall asleep in the car. That's how I feel right now. So I thought I'd vlog instead so I'm not doing that. Today went pretty well actually, um, in a way. Let me back up there a second. I did end up having a donut for somebody's birthday, which I haven't had a donut in forever. I cannot tell you guys. The last time I had a freaking donut, but I had one of those and then um, yesterday one of my co-workers made ice cream and brought it in for everybody and because yesterday was a fasting day for me, I didn't eat any so I had some today. Kind of had to estimate my calories on that. I have no idea how much it was, but I estimated about 200. It was a um, like raspberry swirl that like I said she made herself and I had a cone with it as well, which 
I think it was only like 50 calories. Not that big of a deal. I didn't snack today like what I thought I was going to do. Um, I had the donut and then a little bit later I had my breakfast. I had this cinnamon roll protein overnight oats, which actually turned out pretty good actually. Um, and then I didn't eat again until lunchtime where I had like a lemon pepper shrimp um, meal with the zucchini noodles that I meal prepped last night, which also turned out really good. And then I had these Quest um, like chips that were really interesting. The texture was super weird, but they were only 140 calories for this bag, four net carbs for the whole bag, you know, for all the low carbies out there. And um, I mean, they were good, they weren't bad. And then I had the ice cream. And then um, I had the granola that I brought that I was actually gonna put in cottage cheese that I brought as well, and I ended up not eating the cottage cheese. So I didn't really snack as much as I thought I was going to, which is good. Um, without adding any TDEE calories to my calorie counter, keeping it at 1,800, I currently have like 710 calories or something like that left for the rest of the day. I thought that matters because tonight for dinner I'm making macaroni and cheese and I'm super excited about it because I'm craving some good mac and cheese. So that'll be fun. And then, um, yeah, I'll probably do a little bit of a snack when I get home before my workout tonight, but I'm working mostly on my upper body, so I've got to do that when I get there and hopefully it won't take me too long. I have so much I have to do tonight so that we can just leave from home to go to Colorado tomorrow evening after we get off work. We're hoping to leave here by like 4.30 and it's like 4.30 now, so I don't think we're gonna be leaving at 4.30 since I'm just now getting home, but we'll see what happens. Anywho, uh, like I said, I'm just now pulling up close to my house, so I'm gonna let you guys go so I can um, go in and get everything done that I need to get done as soon as possible. And I will talk to you guys later on this evening, let you know how the mac and cheese turns out. I'm sure it'll be delicious and uh, all that good stuff. So guys, I came home and I worked out like I'd planned. It was a pretty decent workout. Um, kind of a little shorter than my other ones, which was nice, but um, only by like 15 minutes. And then I came upstairs and I started my macaroni and cheese and it did not turn out well. I think the cheese I used was just too stringy and cheap and it uh, all basically went into a ball in the middle of the Instant Pot. It was just bad, so I tried pressure cooking it to heat it back up again and then it just all stuck to the bottom of the pan. So we were able to get some out of it, but I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna need a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, and then I gotta pack and stuff for tomorrow. It's eight o'clock already and we have like nothing done. So um, Ian cleaned up a little bit while I was working out, which was nice, but I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna eat my grilled cheese and then I'm gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. But I just kind of wanted to update you guys and let you know that my Mac didn't turn out right and that makes me really sad. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Well, I'm at work and I kind of just had a nerve wracking situation. Um, I got here this morning and there was somebody standing outside our building and um, trying to communicate to me that he was supposed to be coming inside and setting up chairs for a conference. And I think he expected for me to let him in, but I know nothing about that, obviously, as this is a corporate office. And I felt really uncomfortable and I was um, hoping he wasn't gonna like try to bash me over the head as I came inside. It was kind of a scary situation. But I got in and I found somebody who was gonna send somebody to go check on him because I didn't know what to do. And it was uh, kind of scary. I feel awful saying that because I don't want to think that way. But unfortunately, as things go in the world, you have to be careful about stuff like that. And I work for a financial institution, so, um, you know, got to be safe. But I'm inside now, which is good. Uh, and we'll get on with the rest of the vlog. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today's my Colorado day. I'm leaving after work. I'm really excited. I was looking at the weather, of course, this morning before we left and it's supposed to rain like every day we're there. So hopefully that changes or maybe it's only part of the day. We'll see. Um, I wanna do lots of hiking and if it rains in the way, that's gonna really suck. So I guess we'll kinda see what happens when we get there. Today I'm gonna fast, um, hopefully, <laughs> and uh, you know do my coffee and water thing, hopefully get through the day quickly. I didn't run this morning and that means I won't have time to run this afternoon, but I did bring my workout clothes and if I can get caught up enough here, then I might take a break and go and run today to get in my exercise because if not, I won't be exercising today, which makes me kind of sad because 
you know, how I am and how uh, strict I am on my schedule. But especially with a vacation coming up, I know we're gonna be eating a lot of food probably and I want to uh, feel okay about it, if that makes sense. I don't even think I'm gonna put on makeup today because I don't feel it. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, so this is hard for me to do because you guys know how much I struggle, you know, with eating on fasting days and breaking my fasting days, you know, things like that. But um, my vacation started a little bit earlier than planned. I got off early, I had to run some errands before we left tonight and um, I'm honestly thinking of eating tonight or today. Um, if I can keep my calories at my maintenance calories, I won't gain anything, so there's that. Um, but it's vacation and I'm so hard on myself and I'm constantly beating myself up over things that I shouldn't be beating myself up over and I need to allow myself to live, so I think I'm going to take Bowser on a walk and then when I get back I might eat a little bit of something. I am a little hungry today so that could be a lot of the reason why I'm thinking this way. Especially with how dinner turned out last night which was kind of disappointing because you know I wanted to eat more but my calories wouldn't allow it. You know I, I went over my calorie count for my not real TDEE um, by like 140 calories or something like that. I can't remember. But besides the fact, I can eat if I want to, and I know I can eat a good amount today if I wanted to. Um, I can eat up to like 2,200 calories to do maintenance. I don't feel like running them, and I think that makes me feel guilty too. But like I said, I'm gonna take this one out um, around the block, and I've already gotten my two walks today at work. Um, I walked my two miles, so instead of running, I'll just do another walk. Um, <laughs> his ears went up when I said that. But like I said, I can't be so hard on myself, and if I want to eat, I am got to allow myself to be able to eat. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start my vacation. I'm going to enjoy it without stressing about eating too much, because I know I'll be able to maintain what I do eat. But um, anyway... Long story short, I'm gonna break today and admitting that sucks. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do guys is stop today's vlog right here. Um, I'll update you guys at the beginning of the next one and uh, tell you what I do. But I figured since I'm gonna be going on vacation tonight, it'd be a good point to just end my vlog right here. And um, you know, Hopefully you guys stick along for the ride and see what my Colorado vacation's like. And I know I'm gonna be getting lots of exercise in. We're gonna be doing so much hiking and walking. I'm not even worried about that, really. I just do think about it a lot, you know? Um, especially with this being the last month before my two year anniversary. I just wanna be the best I can be. And having a vacation right now kind of sucks just because you know I want to be the best I can be with my food intake and I think I will be. I've learned a lot the past week and a half on intakes of things to eat to help fill me up so that helps but anyway I'm gonna get off here and I want to say thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. I really appreciate it and all your support. You guys have no idea what it means to me and I will catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.